I was out surfing with a friend and I had apparently gone for a wave and never came back. Somebody else was paddling in, thought they saw a log or a plastic bag floating in the water. Went over to it as actually my body floating face down, unconscious. And so they pulled me to the shore, kind of screaming for help. And when I got to the sand, you know, I wasn't breathing. I didn't have a pulse. Apparently my body was gray and just ocean water was coming out of my mouth. I had the surgery that night within, I think, four and a half hours, which is critical because there's a six hour window to getting this specific type of spine surgery. I woke up in the ICU about two days later. When I first woke up, I essentially had almost no movement and feeling from the neck down. I could maybe move my left leg and left arm just slightly. For many, many years, spinal cord injuries were believed to be irreversible, that if the spinal cord was injured, it was not coming back. And we've been able to disprove that notion. Now we have learned that the sooner we can get a patient into surgery, ideally within hours, the better the neurological recovery. What this new protocol allows us to do is to tailor our treatment to the individual patient. A key piece is controlling the amount of blood flow to the spinal cord after an injury. It's called spinal cord perfusion. It turns out that perfusion pressure is directly related to the degree of neurological recovery after a spinal cord injury. We used to just boost all patients' blood pressure to an average level, but now we are personalizing the treatment. What we've discovered, each patient has a different interspinal pressure. Our hope is that we found a safer way to get the blood flow to the spinal cord to the optimal point while minimizing potential harm. This is actually not a study, this is not a trial, this is what is now our standard of care. You know, I think it has to go to say that my quick and uncharacteristically full recovery so far is a testament that with the right candidates, urgent or an emergent spinal surgery followed by aggressive spinal cord pressure management can really benefit people. I said I was walking out of that hospital every day, even when I was getting rolled and blowing into a straw. My first real step with a walker without assistance was probably, you know, a month and a half or so into my injury. And yeah, again, I cried. <laughs> when something so meaningful is taken from you, to get it back when it wasn't certain is beautiful.